So Podium Publishing is a small publisher. We curate high quality, uh, often indie minded or indie authors uh, books uh, that we think that can go really big and go very broad and do really well. Typically science fiction and fantasy uh, books are the ones that we focus on. The Martian was our first uh, fiction audiobook and when we, when we put it out, uh, my business partner actually found it and sent me a link. I checked it out and it was, the, the author was giving away his book for free on his website. He had been kind of rejected by the publishing industry, hadn't been able to get an agent, but then uh, we found his book and my business partner thought it was amazing. He sent me the link and he was just giving it away for free on his website, so I was a little skeptical and we went back and forth a little bit about whether this was a joke or not, but he said, no, 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 this guy's a genius. I just finished his book. You have to read it. This will be huge. And I said, okay, well, let's, let's take a chance on it. Uh, we cast a really good narrator on it that brought it to life in a unique way, kind of a gruff man's man's voice for a NASA engineer botanist, which was a really strange mix, but it worked really well. And uh, my business partner, even while he was casting it, was going through you know 100 voices of narrators he's worked with in the past, and this guy's voice just kept coming out, almost like the narrator could have written the book. This snarky, you know, sarcastic uh, sense of humor that the main character, Mark Watney, in the book has. And uh, so yeah, we we ended up partnering with the author, uh, created a really good, high quality audiobook uh, that eventually won an audio award. Uh, which is kind of like the audiobook industry's version of the Oscars. Uh, the Martian was the first audiobook uh, that was a fiction audiobook that we put to market. We knew that we had to make a big impact in the industry, that we had to make you know, ripples of some sort and do something special. So we put a lot of energy behind it, which included uh, you know, the, the print rights being dealt with by Crown, which is Random House. And uh, you know, we had the opportunity to, to publish that ourselves, the print version, uh, but we didn't take that opportunity. Instead, we decided to have uh, to have a big five publisher take that and push it as far as it could go there, which then provided the leverage uh, once they were on board to do the print version, 20th Century Fox optioned the film rights, and once the print version came out, which was 11 months after the audiobook came out, uh, it became a New York Times bestseller in its first week. The uh, 20th Century Fox then greenlighted the film project. Ridley Scott was named the producer and the director of the film, uh, Matt Damon was hired as the lead actor and they fast-tracked the movie so that now it'll be coming out October 2nd, 2015.